Good morning. It is Sunday. Manny's, Manny's hanging out in the garden with me. Manny look, even then he was like, don't get my biscuit now. I am not an outdoor person. Manny's not an outdoor person. Manny is very much like an indoor dog, um, but he loves the sun. And throughout the winter, he kept looking at this door and saying to us like, you know, I'm going to need to go out there. It looks sunny. And then he'd go out and immediately be disappointed that it was not warm. And then this morning he did the same. Like, I feel like it might be warm today, guys. It's not warm, but it's not cold. He has really, like, tucked himself up against me and been like, it's not really warm enough to sit by myself, Mom. He came in, in the living room and got me. Like, well, you come outside, didn't he? He just, he loves being in the sunshine. And it's not quite there yet, buddy. I know. But in the full summer, all day, he just sits on the grass and sunbathes. You love it, don't you? I know. He loves the sun. Kind of recharges him. Rain, don't even get him started. He could be all fully ready for his walk. Lee opens the door and it's raining and he just looks at him like, I'm not doing that. Absolutely not. Then when Lee comes in, he loses all interest in me. I'm like, Papa, wow. I've been waiting for you. I wasn't sitting with her at all. We've just been to Marks and Spencer's to get some weekend weekend food um i swear to god whatever i did when i was making that furniture the day i really bought something because it's walking like an implant it's not fun my like whole left thigh area it's not having a good time it's like yeah a bit hot bit hot mm. no it wasn't actually hot try it it's not hot Burger Van Burgers are the best burgers in the world. It's time for another podcast with Emma. Also, we're not talking about how messy the office is. It's slightly out of hand. On Marks and Spencer's dinner, which is kind of funny, it's just chilling out with Lee. And we're watching, what is this called? Fallout. Fallout. Would recommend. Quite enjoying it. I know what you're thinking, and yes... They're still there. Um, this is going to be like the vlog reel. Vlog reel clothes that never got put away. It'll be August and I'll still have them there. This is what I've been doing most of today. The smell in here is so strong of like 100 different scents. So down here, I'm working on the summer. We're going to have some travel candle sets. Um, this is like a pina colada scent. This is an aloe and coconut water, which smells amazing, really, really fresh. Um, then I'm restocking our regular stone jars. Um, and I do also, I mean, this is messy, messy, messy. I also found the most amazing mojito scent. I came in here to close, like to turn off the heater, but it's not, it's not quite time yet. It's not quite time to do that yet because they still need a little bit of time to kind of cure and set. Um, but I found the most amazing mojito scent. Uh, we've ordered all of the stuff that we need, all of the, um, you know, the extra wax, the extra fragrance oils. Uh, it's, it's all coming together for the summer collection. It feels like we're really ahead of the game this time, for the first time possibly ever, because, I mean, you know, we're less than a year in business, um, but it feels like we're actually, like, we're not on the back foot all the time. Did I put this on charge? No, I did not put this on charge. I've been about two weeks without this. Maybe a week? I don't know. It feels like two weeks. And I can tell you what, my skin, my skin knows that I haven't been using this. I posted a video today. Um, this is Sunday. Posted a video today uh, where I was talking about my evening skincare. It was sponsored. It was sponsored. Uh, I had a sponsored portion from Skin and Me. Um, but I had that video down to do already. When they asked me to do a video, I was like, oh, this works really well for this. Would this work for you? And they said, yes. So anyway, I had a sponsored portion and I was so cross because YouTube has just been steadily killing my other channel. The vlogs, you know, it, the vlogs are, I've said for years, I feel like the vlogs are something that I could see myself doing indefinitely forever. Um, but my other channel, once I started kind of switching up the content a little bit, the algorithm was like, we're not going to show people these videos anymore. It's, it shows maybe 20% of the people that used to, like in terms of numbers, 
um, the videos. So that's frustrating. But today it was like rocket loads. It showed, I don't know, about 200 people that video this morning, which was really frustrating. We, we've gone off topic because I was talking about skincare. But I did post this on Instagram because I was just like, I totally see how people are pushed to short form content because it feels as if if you're not making shorts, if you're not doing what YouTube wants you to do, they're just not going to show your content to people. And it's pushing people off the platform that have been doing it for a really long time. I am so tired, but those of you who are like, you know, my guys in my corner, um, I get DMs from from some of you uh, telling me, kind of telling me off, but also looking after me, I feel like sometimes um, through the internet um, when it is apparent that I'm pushing myself too much and, you know, taking too much on, which I've spoken about in the last couple of vlogs, I've definitely recognised proper burnout. Like, I think after the school holidays, I was trying to keep up with a regular routine, but also trying to put time in with Milo and it was stretching me too thin mentally more than anything else. And then when I did whatever I did when I was putting up that furniture, it really has taken me out physically. Like, it hurts so much. Just had a really hot bath. And I just, it's like nearly 10 o'clock and I'm finally kind of winding down for the day. Um, and I've messaged the guy that I do the podcast, the candle podcast with and said, I'm out this week. Like tomorrow I have things that I need to do, but tomorrow needs to be a take easy day. I'll drop my loaf at school. I'll do computer work. I'll watch some TV. I'll go and get myself a Starbucks and a blueberry muffin. And this week I need to take it a little bit easy because... I really feel like I'm coming to, you know, like when you feel so overwhelmed for like such a long period of time that you feel like you're getting ill. That's how I feel. So yeah, I, I, I'm loathed to say it because I know that it comes across as very whiny. And, um, there are some people that I watch that initially I was like, oh, I really like that they talk about how they feel because it feels very vulnerable. It feels very real. I relate to them. And then, you know, like you get six months in and you're like, all they talk about is how they feel and it's never positive. I don't, I don't like that. I'm very aware of that. But at the same time when you're daily vlogging, um, it, you really just get the, the roller coaster. So tomorrow's going to be a take it easy day. I've put on my skincare. I'm going to brush my hair. I'm going to let it air dry because I have hair that I can do that with now and it won't look crazy tomorrow it probably will but I'll just tuck it behind my ears and forget about it um and yeah this week I'm gonna get myself mentally back on track so that it doesn't lead to and now I'm down for a month 